Download the free practice worksheet on this topic or take a practice quiz at mathcation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to solve negative exponents. As you can see, there are three important things that we need to remember when solving negative exponents. The first thing you're going to do for solving negative exponents is change the sign of the exponent every time you flip it over the fraction bar. In order to simplify negative exponents, you have to change the negative exponent into a positive one. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to flip the exponential term over the fraction bar. Just to give you an example, if we had 6 to the negative third power, all whole numbers are written over 1. Even though we never write the fraction bar in the 1, it is always there. In order to make this positive, you're going to take the exponential term and you're going to move it over the fraction bar. So it will be under the fraction bar. And it will be 6 to the positive third down here now. The base will stay the same and the exponent will go from negative to positive. After you flip over the fraction bar, you use the number 1 as a placeholder whenever nothing is left on one side. So to jump back to our example, we have 6 to the positive third now flipped over the fraction bar, which is in the denominator. Now we need a placeholder in the numerator. And what we're going to use to hold a place value in the numerator is the number 1. So 6 to the negative third would be equal to 1 over 6 to the positive third. We kept the base of 6 and we changed the exponent to a positive. And because we had nothing in the numerator, we had to add the 1 as a placeholder. Finally, the rule for negative exponents is a to the negative m is equal to 1 over a to the positive m. In the rule, you can see we keep the base of a the same. And then the exponent changes from negative into positive after you move the exponential term into the denominator. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. All right, let's go ahead and jump down to our first practice problem for negative exponents. This one gives us 5 to the negative ninth power. Remember, this exponential term is written over a 1. To simplify this, we have to make this negative exponent into a positive exponent. The way we're going to do that is we're going to take the exponential term of 5 to the negative 9th, we're going to move it into the denominator by keeping the base the same and changing the exponent to a positive. Now in our denominator, we're going to keep the base of a 5, and this negative 9 is going to turn into a positive 9. Now there's nothing left in the numerator. So we have to add a placeholder, and what we're going to do is we're going to add the number 1 because the number 1 doesn't change the value of this exponential term. Our solution would be 1 over 5 to the positive 9th power, and that's going to be the answer to this negative exponent term. Jumping down to our second practice problem, we have x to the negative 10th power. And it doesn't matter that this is a variable, the rule still applies. We have to get rid of this negative exponent by making it positive. So you take the exponential term of x to the negative tenth, you put it in the denominator by keeping the base the same and making the exponent positive, and then you have to add a 1 as a placeholder to keep the value of your exponential term the same. Our final solution is going to be 1 over x to the positive tenth power. Once your exponent is positive, you know your answer has been simplified. Finally, our last practice problem gives us 1 over x to the negative 9th power. This time our exponential term is in the denominator. The rule to get rid of the negative exponent still applies even though it's in the denominator. What I mean by that is that you can still flip this over the fraction bar and it will still change the sign on the exponent from negative to positive. So I'm going to take my exponential term by keeping the base the same of x and writing the exponent as positive 9, and it's been flipped over the fraction bar, and then the denominator is the number 1 because we have to hold the place value. All I did was I took x to the negative 9th in the denominator, I flipped it over the fraction bar by keeping the base and changing the sign of the exponent. This is x to the 9th over 1, which is just x to the 9th, so you don't have to actually write the number 1. 
the key takeaway here is that even though the negative exponent is in the denominator, you can still flip it over the fraction bar and make the exponent positive. And if you want to download our free practice worksheet on negative exponents or try the practice quiz that grades itself and tells you how you did, go ahead and click the link in the top right part of this video and you'll be taken to the page that has both of those on it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!